The old Shankiti was on something. Present day one got some problems. The old Shankiti had a, had, a, had a vast amount of knowledge. And Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz. Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz. Bin Baz is one of your Sheikh, you all right. Bin Baz is one of your Sheikh, you got it. When he entered into teaching, a great number of students from inside and outside Saudi Arabia benefited from him. He had his own unique style of interpretation. You'll see that as we go. You'll start to get appreciation of how Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Uthaymeh presents issues and how he discusses them. He has his own way, unique to him, to the degree that if you become so familiar with them, no one has to tell you his name when they read a portion of anything he's done. You'll hear it and you'll say, that's Ibn Uthaymeh. That's who that is. That's Ibn Uthaymeh. Mm -hmm. So everyone started to benefit from him inside and outside of Saudi. Inside and outside of Saudi. And as you see, we're sitting here still benefiting. Man in his grave, and we still benefiting. And this is for him a sadaqat al jariyah. A continuous sadaqa. Adds to him light in his grave. And bliss in his existence. And mercy and peace and serenity. Adds to us knowledge, insha'Allah ta'ala. An enlightenment of Tawheed, some knowledge regarding Sunnah, and the foundation and the basis of our Aqidah. Now that's a pretty good transaction. That's a pretty good transaction. Unique style of interpretation, explanation of religious point. He was from among the scholars who served this line without any type of religious prejudice and kept themselves away from the limitations of blind falling. Otherwise, he didn't do Taqlid. He knew nothing about no Taqlid, blind falling. Blind falling who? Okay, tell us in the how to set up Saturday, man. Blind follow what? It was his way. He was distinguished in his great exertion of effort in religious matters. Analogical deductions, that yeah, is piyas or something else, which clearly proved, pr clearly proved the religious understanding he possessed and his correct usage of the principles of religion. He knew the kawaii. He knew the kawaii, the principles of deen. And therefore, he was able to base things upon those principles and make points upon those principles and give a tower upon those principles and so his thing when he came when he came at you it was strong it was strong one of them described him and this was a guy who didn't like him initially I found him fully armed well protected and strong I found him fully armed I did that with evidences no matter what I brought to him he brought something back that had me relenting or subdued me, or did away with me. Huh? You go check cave high. What color? What color? What color? What about this? This and this? What color? What color? What color? And this, this, and this. Just like that. The man was a brown skin, light brown skin. We used to look at his face, and we would see this white beard with this the shiniest pearl teeth you would ever want to see, constantly smiling. This was Ibn Uthaymeen. Something else. He was distinguished in the great exertion of effort in religious matters. And we did, we said that. In giving religious verdicts like Sheikh bin Baz, his fatawa were based on evidence from Quran and Sunnah. He had about 50 compilations, books to his credit. He taught religious fundamentals at the Sharia. He taught usul. At the faculty of Imam Muhammad ibn Sa'ad, Sa'ud Islam University. The Qasim branch. He was also a member of the Council of Senior Scholars, Hayat al Kibar Ulama, of the kingdom. And he was an Imam and a Khatib in the big masjid of Unaiza. How are you going to do all this, man? Teaching to love, giving fatawa, sitting on, leg on the legend of the Da'ima or the sitting on the Hayat al Kibar Ulama. Then you still going to get up there and give khutbah and, lead, and, and be Imam at a particular masjid? Where was their energy? How? The Sheikh passed away, as you all know, the 15th of Shawal, 1421 after Hijra. It was January, the 10th of January, 2001. He was 74 years of age. May Allah SWT have mercy upon his soul. I mean, Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Thaymiyyah, given to you in a abridged form of which you cannot probably even abridge it any more than that. Concisely. Now,